A road moving to Berlin. So tonight is January 10th, 2007, and uh, President Bush just finished giving this speech about the whole war in Iraq. He's trying to rally up support for it. And there are so many things wrong that he said tonight. Okay, number one, we're not going to establish democracy in Iraq. For a democracy to happen, a people must want that first. Democracy cannot be imposed on someone against their will. What should have happened is, when the people of Iraq were good and ready, they should have risen up and deposed Saddam Hussein on their own. Freedom must be earned. It cannot be given to anyone. That's why our approach to Iraq has been failing since day one. We are trying to give freedom to a people who may or may not necessarily be ready for it. Furthermore, Iraq is not just one country. It's really three, maybe even some people consider more so, ethnicities that were put together, smashed together at the end of World War I by Winston Churchill, just like Yugoslavia was created by all the leftover countries in Eastern Europe. They were put together, and as long as there was a strong man in place, like Tito in Yugoslavia, then there was peace in Iraq. But without that, without Saddam, without a strong man, and the U.S. is not filling that role, neither is the current Iraqi government, without that strong presence there uh, that's enforcing peace, there's not going to be any peace at all because these disparate groups are going to be at each other's throats. And we're going to be seeing that for the next several years to come. The other big problem I have with the speech tonight, Bush said that one of our big things should be enforcing Iraq's borders. This man cannot even enforce our own borders. We have thousands of illegals that are coming across every day and they're sapping away at our economy and our infrastructure and they're costing us, they're costing real Americans jobs. They're committing crimes. There are a lot of murders and other violent crimes that have been taking place because of illegals coming in across the board. When does that stop, Mr. President? When do, when do you start taking your oath of office seriously and begin enforcing our borders instead of enforcing the borders of other countries? Please answer me that. And that's all i got to say for right now. Uh, but I, I didn't watch the speech. I listened to it so I could home in on his actual message instead of being distracted by the visuals. And I didn't think it was a very effective speech at all. So, anyway, you can probably read the text of it on the internet somewhere, so I'll let you judge for yourself. Till then, till next time, we this is Chris Knight. Take care, God bless. So close to heaven, Peter came out and gave us medals, declaring us the nicest of the ten.